of death. Well, ask that question of a man well acquainted with death. A whole culture well acquainted with death. The Dogon of Mali. They are handsome, stylish, they love life. They say it's a dance, many dances, weaving with each other. They say death must dance too, or life will not be precious. In the village of Tirali lives a man called Dugalu. Soon he will greet the dead with the same gusto he greets the living on this market day. Even so far away, I heard them echo off the cliffs, the sounds of a death tearing the harmony. Death of an old man of wisdom. Each death is death of a Dogon. Each death, the death of the Dogon. A dancer falls, the dance falls. As I walked back along the top of the high cliff, the rim of our world where some ancestors look down on the life they have lost, I did not then know the death was of my uncle, whom I loved. It was lonely. I wanted to go down into life. We began to dance him to death. My uncle Abo, the last of my dead father's brothers. Death was now a character in my dance. It is a fearful thing to see or to touch the dead. So up quickly into the cliff, the old dead carried by the young living and walled into a tomb. The old wise man, now a pollution of the earth, a tear in the fabric of life. So many things I did not say to him, my father's brother. So much time I did not spend with him. So many plays of life, so many true words never said. How lonely death must be. A spirit only, seeing only a shadow of life. Do I grieve for him or for me? You cannot go into that sad, dark night without a heart full of the day without many true words said to friends and spirits and loved ones. They cast down his beer from the high place. They brought down his shroud to lie in his house. We doggone carry always with us the death blanket. We never wear it until the final cold we never lie under it until the final night, but we carry it always. Cold death makes of life a rich and warm thing. <laughs> We dance 
is his blanket. All this pouring out of wishes, this movement of life and dance for him. He is spirit, but we keep life close to him. He is not alone, not forgotten. Cotton on the shroud to soak up the blood of any sacrifice. Take care of all things. The living take care of the dead. For Muslims and Christians, heaven is a far off place. We Dogon can see ours. Every morning the sun shines on our village of the dead above us. When we are young, our house is on the plain. When we marry, we move up toward the cliff. When we are old and wise, we go up to the old men's houses in the lower cliff. And when we die, we go to the topmost cliff and our name and something of us is born again in a child of the plain. And so life is like a wind that starts in the bush and blows strong to the cliff and gentler to its rim and then back to the plain. A round wind, a never-ending wind. A cycle. I be wa ga ngana iganu ne yuja shoa ya wa panongo e ya pe yi wo ajina mbe ga mbe ya le ba wo ba ga ta nu jelle ya no mbe ga na gojun yori go nshe mi ga she mba jon wo kuna torole so again we dance the third night. For me, grief is gone in tiredness. This song of mourning affirms the passage of the dead to spirits. any man to live there. But there is a time when we need that power. And there is a way. The dawn of my uncle's spirit was such a time. 
and the masks were the way. The Dhamma masks. This happens every 12 years. You see, my uncle had that day joined 12 years of the dead. Long ago, the bush had given us the masks. We do not know when or how. You see, the masks are a way for the power of the bush to come into the village, so that all living, dead, bush, village can make a harmony again. And only by the dance can we do this. The dance, the masks. The masks of the lizards and storks. The gazelles. The antelope, the rabbit, the trickster, the crocodile, oh, very dangerous, stay away. The satim, they had the masks first, long ago. The gazelle. I don't know. The hunter. And the tree. last celebration of what life was for the spirits of the ancestors. The masks are pieces of wood only. The masks worn and danced are the masks. They are the things that matter in life. Things of tears, things of laughter. The white man, always writing in his little book, always looking for money. The mask of a man with goiter on his neck. The young are not full grown as men, but as tall as their opinion of themselves. <laughs> I think death is losing. This is life. This is life. Death will come, but he is not a dancer with me today. And when he comes, I will know his dance and dance it well. Life is as many layered as the rocks. It is wonderful and only so because of death. So acquaint yourself with death. Death makes life precious.